Get the little ones, sit back, relax, and listen to the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audiences. You're listening to the Tripod Network. Watch on. It's time once again for America's favorite show, The Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. Brought to you by DrFloyd.com. Our adventure this time begins with our hero, the world's most brilliant scientist, Dr. Floyd, currently on the bridge of his time and spaceship along with his young protege, Dr. Grant, and their faithful robot companion, Chips. All three of them are currently hurtling at full speed through the time and space stream. How are we doing, Chips? We're moments away from intercepting Dr. Stevens' fidget ship with us. Space Harpoon! Excellent. So we're finally going to do it, eh, Dr. Floyd? We're finally going to capture Dr. Stephen Fidget? That's right, Dr. Grant. We'll harpoon Dr. Stephen Fidget's ship and tow them back to the present and bring them to justice. That's fantastic, Dr. Floyd. Oh, we're closing in now, Dr. Floyd. Harpoon deployment in five. This is it. Four, Stay on target. Three, Stay on target. Two, Nothing's going to stop us now. One. Oh, hang on, the phone's ringing. I'll get it. But Dr. Floyd... No buts, Dr. Grant. Remember, our time and space answering machine is on the fritz. We can't just let it ring. It could be an important call. I guess so, Dr. Floyd. Chips, you better power down the harpoon and the dramatic music. Oh, right. Hello? Oh, hello, Mom. Come home? Well, we're right in the middle of something, and besides, I told you that we can't puppy sit Mr. Beardy Chins anymore. Well, then, why do you need us to come home? What? I see. We'll be right there, Mom. Okay, bye. Chips, set a course for Saddle River City. My mom's house, present day. Will do, Dr. Floyd. Dr. Floyd, what is it? Is your mom okay? She's, she's fine, Dr. Grant. Then what's the matter? He's back, Dr. Grant. He's come back after all these years. I'm not following. Who has come back, Dr. Floyd? My, my father. Dr. Floyd's father has returned? Where has he been? Why has he been gone so long? And why haven't we heard about him before? These questions will have to wait for later as it's now time to see what that low-down low-life Dr. Steve and his sock shape assistant Fidget are doing aboard their own time and spaceship. Step on it, Fidget. They're right behind us. I'm running, running, running. You do know what they'll do if they catch us, right? They're going to bring us to justice. Well, Well, I don't want to be brought to justice. Could you imagine how boring it would be to be stuck in Oklahoma? There'd be nothing to do. Justice, Oklahoma. The population there is only like 1,300 at last count. Eesh, boredom city. Enough chatter. Keep driving. We've got to escape. What do you mean we have escaped? What? They've stopped following us? Well, where are they? They made a time jump back to Saddle River. What? I... Well, how rude. It is rude, Fidget, and very disrespectful. I'm his arch nemesis, for Pete's sake. He's supposed to never give up trying to bring me to justice. Oklahoma. Turn this ship around, Fidget. Yes, yes, I know if they aren't following us, we're free to go anywhere we want, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to follow them back to Saddle River and make Dr. Floyd pay dearly for giving up the chase. As Dr. Stephen Fidger turn around to head back to Saddle River City, we now join our heroes who are just parking their time and spaceship in the driveway of 137 Poplar Avenue, Saddle River City, the ancestral home of the Floyd family. Okay, we've landed. Powering down now. How come you've never talked about your father before, Dr. Floyd? Eh, what's to talk about? He's my dad. Yes, but... Has he been gone? Years. Where was he? He's a world-famous archaeologist, and he's always off exploring the world for lost ancient cities. Wow. Kind of like Indiana Jones. Yeah, kind of. But not so much in that we get sued for copyright infringement or anything. I just don't understand why you wouldn't talk about him more. I mean, if I knew my dad and he was as cool as your dad sounds, I'd talk about him all the time. Yeah, he sounds amazing. Oh, sure. He's amazing, all right. He's so amazing, he was always out traveling the world picking through dirt or giving lectures at museums. No time to read with his young son. No time to be there when his young son wins his first blue ribbon at the kindergarten science fair. Gee, I'm sorry, Dr. Floyd. Yes, me too, Dr. Floyd. No, no, I'm sorry. Well, it sounds like at the very least your dad gave you your sense of adventure and scientific exploration. Yeah, I guess. 
Well, we better go in or Mom will be out here banging on the side of the ship. Soon, our heroes are walking up to the front door of the Floyd family home. What will Dr. Floyd's father be like? Will Dr. Floyd be able to work out his differences with his father? And will Dr. Steve ever learn that there is actually another type of justice that he could be brought to? Oh, you're right, Mr. Narrator. There's a justice in Illinois, too. Ooh, that sounds worse than being in Oklahoma. Find out next time on the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. Episode number 509 of The Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd starred Maura Quirk as Chips, www.mauraquirk.com. The music in this episode was written by Jody Whitesides, www.jodywhitesides.com. This episode was written by Grant Bachoco. Be sure to visit www.drfloyd.com, where you can download past episodes of the show, watch our video podcast, and sign up on our mailing list. If you are an iTunes listener, why not click through and leave us a review in the iTunes podcast directory? Episode number 509 of The Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd is copyright 2007 Dr. Floyd Industries. All rights reserved. This is Jack Ward, and from everyone here at the Mutual Audio Network, we wish you all safety and protection during the COVID-19 outbreak. Join us as we listen and imagine, and together we'll make it through this. Please be safe.